This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. This is a sponsored message. Recently, I started using Anchor as my podcast host. Anchor offers benefits that most other hosts do not. It's free to use, but it also has a collection of tools that allow you to create a podcast completely within the Anchor website or smartphone app. They distribute your show to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other distribution channels without any additional effort on your part. And you can make money from your podcast without any minimum audience size. So you can use it as a more traditional podcast host like I do, but it's also got everything you need to start a podcast from scratch in one place. If you're keen to give it a shot, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's Thursday, April 28th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From BBC News, Russia-Ukraine War Summary. Russian energy company Gazprom has cut off natural gas exports to Poland and Bulgaria after they failed to pay their bills in rubles, as Russia is now demanding many European countries do. This, in turn, has caused European gas prices to surge. U.S. officials are seeking more legal authority to seize mansions, jets, and other assets held by wealthy Russians. And the U.N. Secretary General visited Russian President Putin to encourage him to stop the invasion of Ukraine, but little seems to have resulted from their chat. A number of explosions have targeted the armed forces of a Russia-aligned separatist region in Moldova, a former Soviet country located just between Ukraine and Romania, and local leadership has suggested that Ukraine is behind these bombings, while Ukrainian officials have said they're probably false flag attacks meant to give Russia an official excuse to swoop in militarily and quote-unquote liberate the local Russian-aligned citizens from their supposed Oppressors, similar to what Russia did in Crimea in 2014 and what they did in eastern Ukraine a few months ago to justify their ongoing invasion there. From Reuters, GM electrifies executives' pay. The CEO of General Motors has announced that her own compensation and that of other leaders throughout the company will now be tied in part to how well their electric vehicle division does in particular, how many EVs they sell. GM management and C-suite leaders already have their compensation tied to a variety of strategic goals, like net income and inclusivity, and the addition of EV-specific metrics to that larger collection of priorities suggests the company, which, like most other automakers around the world right now, is pivoting toward electric vehicles and planning to mostly or completely phase out gas guzzlers by 2035 or thereabouts, has decided to make this a key focus now, rather than waiting for the market to fully arrive over the next few years before they do so. And from the Associated Press, Hunger grips Burkina Faso due to increasing jihadi violence. According to recent reports, about 3.5 million people in Burkina Faso are food insecure, and nearly 630,000 people are on the brink of starvation. That's an 82% increase over last year's figures, and this widespread malnutrition is being attributed to displacement, impoverishment, and regular attacks by violent jihadi rebels in the northern portion of the country. Those attacks have kept food aid from getting to those who need it, and the country's government was overthrown by mutinous soldiers in January, so they're not in a great position to do anything about these and other extremist organizations ransacking food-producing regions, killing and kidnapping at whim, and overall amplifying an already significant malnutrition situation that shows no sign of going away anytime soon. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com and you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.